finding out who you are and accepting who you are is the beginning of all human endeavour. So often we spend our lives wishing we were someone else with those gifts, with those talents, with those character traits. Hours spent using filters to look the way we wish we looked or cover over pain with a fake smile so that we can come across the way we think we should come across. But true Christian life begins with an acknowledgement that God did not make a mistake when he made you, you. He gave you your gifts, your personality, your longings, and God doesn't make mistakes. But the call to find ourselves is a call to adventure. For the God who made you not only loves you just as you are, but also calls you, beckons you, invites you to grow into the full stature of who he created you to be. He promises that tomorrow does not have to be filled with the same problems as today. That the failures and destructive patterns you find yourself in do not have to have the last word. And more than that, he promises to go with you on the journey. Lent is the time of discovery. And in the book Creation to New Creation, we are all invited to journey through Lent by exploring the book of Genesis. As we read about these ancient people, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Sarah, Rebecca, Tamar, the more we discover the God who calls us to both accept our true selves and to embark on the adventure of broadening our horizons and breaking through the chains that would hold us back. Each day we look at the story, reflect on what it says to us and find the freedom of owning who we are, both our failures and our gifts and growing into the fullness of life God has for us. This Lent, take up the call to adventure.